Hello, it is World Wide Web, Wednesday, January 27th, 2021. Steve Cypress here, and have you checked out the privacy-minded search engine known as DuckDuckGo? That's right, when you were a kid, if you played the game Duck, Duck, Goose, just take a few letters off the end, and you have the search engine that values your privacy. Go figure. What is up with that? DuckDuckGo.com. You can even, uh, you can use it on your phone, you can use it on a laptop, a desktop. Uh, it has a tiny sliver of market share compared to the 800 million pound gorilla in the room, Google. But, uh, uh, okay, so the few negatives of it compared to Google, DuckDuckGo doesn't have nearly the breadth, the dense, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the massive, search results you can get with Google, doesn't their, their AI is nowhere near as advanced as Google. So if you're searching for something that's obscure or hard to find or difficult, DuckDuckGo is not going to be as Google. But for the 99% of searches that we all do that are mundane, that are boring, that are simple, you know, definitions of words and locations of things, and uh, maybe you search, you want to search for an image of somebody, or of something, or a video about something. See, here's the thing. Google, which for the first about 18 years of existence, its motto right there on its home page was don't be evil. They took that off in 2018. Uh, and some might say that it's because they changed their slogan. Others might realize that it's because don't be evil became ironic. Uh, Google as we see right now, more than ever, is one of the evil big tech companies that decides who can be on the internet and who can't, who's right and wrong, whose speech is free and whose can't be heard by other people. So DuckDuckGo, search engine, you can find just about anything you want to find. It does not track your IP. It does not store your search information. It does not share your search information. It does not gather it. It's total privacy, doesn't track you, doesn't sell your information, share it with advertisers so they can stalk you all over the place. I mean, once you've used DuckDuckGo for any amount of time, if you go back to using Google, you're gonna just feel creeped out. You're gonna feel stalked. Uh, second thing is Google manipulates its algorithm and its search results like crazy. Uh, especially uh, with this political season in the, the last election, uh, before, during, even after the election. There are certain things you would search for and you just can't find. Or you could uh, search for things and be redirected to other things you weren't really looking for. So if you search for something positive about Trump, for instance, Google, of course, and all the big tech companies hate Trump. Uh, they're so uh, deranged, it's amazing. So if you search for something positive about Trump, the results all came up negative about Trump. At least on the first couple of pages, I never bothered to go further. But I was looking for things some, once in a while that uh, was something I heard that Trump did that was interesting or good or whatever. I searched for it, could not be found on Google. DuckDuckGo, number one result there it was right there. Another thing Google does, you know, Google owns YouTube. So a lot of the search results, they pull up YouTube videos. They don't pull up videos on Rumble or other sites. They pull up YouTube, of course. So you're being manipulated, of course, if you don't realize that by Google. But perhaps the most insidious evil thing is the way they track and store information about you and share it with advertisers. DuckDuckGo doesn't do that. Give it a chance. Check it out. DuckDuckGo.com. Spelled just like it sounds. Uh, you'll see there a little logo, a little picture of a duck. DuckDuckGo, the alternative if you don't like your search engine to be evil, you might want to check out DuckDuckGo. It's got a tiny sliver of the market right now, but if enough people catch on and decide that we no longer want to be manipulated, we no longer want to have our information, we no longer want to be the product and have our life and everything we do and everything we, I mean, could you imagine the old days before the internet, if you went into a public library to look for something and you were looking, stayed there for a little while, looked at a few books and maybe checked out some newspapers, magazines, see, it's before the internet, right? And you were checking a whole bunch of stuff out. Would you like to walk out of there thinking 
that somebody somewhere was tracking every single thing you looked at and knew every a word on a page that you focused on and something you looked up in a table of context or an index in an index and then they used that shared it with advertisers so they could sell stuff and target you and it's not just advertisers people can target you with all kinds of information i mean that's just creepy well that's what google does so yes google is a superior search engine if you're looking for something obscure uh you'll likely find it much quicker much easier on google like you know uh what was the name of that guy in that movie about the the elephant and the what? You know, Google, much more intelligent uh, than any other, probably anything else on the internet. Amazon is right up there, but they'll they'll they're likely to find that for you and say like, yeah, it was this movie. They understand, they get it. Their their AI, their artificial intel intelligence, is way ahead of anything. You search like that on DuckDuckGo, you're going to have to come up with the name of the actor, the name of the movie, something like that. So, slight shortcomings. DuckDuckGo, but in my opinion, way, way overshadowed by the fact that I'm not, I'm not the product. I'm not being used and abused by the search engine that I choose to use, and I choose to use DuckDuckGo. You decide what you want to choose. And by the way, uh, advertising, of course, Google has much more targeted ads because they're tracking every move you make, so they pretty much know what you like, what you don't like, your age, your income, where you live, what you do for work, they pretty much know everything about you. DuckDuckGo, you're gonna see much less targeted ads. So you can advertise on DuckDuckGo if you're advertising your business. You're not gonna get as targeted a marketplace as you want to uh, advertise to. It's based on pretty much the keywords of the searches, but not any history of the searcher. And by the way, it still has some couple of fancy things. A lot of what it does, it's copied from Google. A lot of stuff that it does, it's how Google used to be way back before Google became ultra phenomenally evil. Um, but uh, they do still have suggested results. So if you type in one word, they give you a, a few other words that they think you might be looking for. Uh, that makes it easier to search. It's kind of intuitive that way. Uh, another thing is, uh, I forget what else I was going to say, but they... Uh, um, uh, I forget now, but uh, check it out. DuckDuckGo, check it out for yourself. Uh, it's just as easy to use as Google, just slightly, not slightly, but just not as powerful. Trade-off's worth it to me, you decide. And for advertising, not a lot of people use it, so probably not the best place to advertise right now, but you can check it out. It's certainly a heck, a heck of a lot cheaper. Uh, than, at, than Google. So if you're just feeling your way around and you're not a pro at it, uh, you can't really lose your shirt advertising on DuckDuckGo at nearly as quickly as you can with Google. You really got, got to know what you're doing with Google advertising to get results. Anyway, use it, advertise on it, check it out, DuckDuckGo.com. That'll do it for World Wide Web Wednesday. I'll be back tomorrow. On Throwback Thursday, I will catch you then. Over and out. Bye-bye.